Hey guys, welcome to this new update for the 737-800 home simulator cockpit build-up. Um, the last video I made, which was quite some time ago, uh, the cockpit was in a very bad state, all the wiring at the back was completely messed up. Um, I've, I've been working on that, I've redone all the wiring at the back, you know, it's much cleaner. Uh, it was horrible every time if there was something wrong to figure out where each wire went was just an awful nightmare. Um, I've, uh, I've all fixed that and now as I promised uh, I wanted to show you the simulator on since last time you didn't see the uh, switch on. So um, the sim is using uh, as a software uh, for the navigation system is ProSim 737. Um, is, is the full version, the paid version, uh, and it works really, really well. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'll take the camera a little bit closer to, to see the quality of the uh, of the displays. It's a, it's really amazing. This is the uh, this is the first officer. Uh, it's it's really great. I'm really happy with it. Uh, there's still few things, of course, like overhead panel. I'm still using the software on a monitor. Uh, I still haven't got myself an uh, an actual hardware over the overhead panel. Uh, but I am now running. Uh, on the last video, there was only one PC running. Uh, now I actually have three. Uh, I have my main PC here. Then I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's the real the, the the main machine. That's the one that has um, uh, that has the FSX installed on. That's what I use. Um, and then I have a, an old PC which I built uh, second hand. Uh, I have it completely cleaned up and uh, all everything reinstalled. And basically, I'm using it for the uh, two displays. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the, the captain displays and the first officer displays and the third computer is a is a laptop which i basically use for the for the cdu uh, sorry for the uh overhead panel now i've also i can't remember if last time i showed you i got three monitors this is not uh, uh on a triple edge to go um, but I use a graphic card that allows me to plug in six monitors. So the three front monitors are with uh, Ifinity uh, software. So you, you see how the three monitors are extended. They're not stretched, so it's really nice looking. I'm parked in front of a gate at uh, Schiphol, Amsterdam now. Um, and then the other three monitors also plugged into the same uh, uh, to the same graphic cards are the Captain Display, uh, the Operacus, and the first of the first, first software display. I've also added this really nice uh, CDU. Now let me put the camera. See if I can put the camera down and show you. The CDU. Uh, the CDU is from Flight Deck Solutions. Uh, now, I did shop around for, I did look around for different CDUs, and you know, I don't know, maybe out there there are nicer ones. I'm sure Flying Gravity for the price that they charge, it's uh, it's uh, has to be a beautiful uh, CDU. But I don't see why th th this works just perfect. So th this is this is the hardware. And from a software perspective, um, this is nothing else than a monitor, color monitor. Uh, but what you see, it's basically from ProSim. I just dragged the display of ProSim, uh, which runs in the background, uh, and it comes right on this monitor. And it works great. There is really nothing, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's a uh, it's fantastic if I put the Amsterdam code as you can see it's 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 really good 
it does everything that the CDU needs to do uh, for it's like 999 I think Canadian dollars which uh, be based in Europe translates in something really well not really stupid of course it's still a, a good expense but it's still much more affordable price for someone who's you know not really ready to go and spend maybe 2000 euros on a, on a CDU again I'm really really happy uh, with, uh, with how this came up it's really easy to set up piece of cake a couple of softwares and if you follow the instructions given to you by the letter you really cannot go wrong generally things start going wrong when you're being the typical man and when you say I don't need the instructions I know how everything works trust me follow the instructions you'll have a lot less headaches um, the I think I've added, I've added the I've also added the APHIS at least one of them and let's see if I can capture both display and APHIS uh, it works just perfect the way it's supposed to work the reins it's it's the the uh, the APHIS is from um, uh, CP Flight just the same as all the other radios MCP is from CP Flight and I've got three radios here uh, on a temporary CDU bay uh, the navigation, the uh, communication uh, and the transponder everything is from CP flight, everything works perfect the um, flaps indicator is from Yes, yeah, flight illusions. I think I've already mentioned last time. I, I had bought one from uh, from a different company. Uh, really, it's not. I wasn't happy with the way it looked. Um, it's just it was too complicated to install. So I, I decided to go with this one. It's much easier. You know, you have one software. It's it's really brilliant. You do this the setup one time and it works just fine. Uh, and I'm using uh, for the moment until I buy my. Uh, my actual throttle I'm using a SciTech SciTech throttle and I've set up uh, this uh, uh, lever to make the flap works I'm sure a lot of people have done this until you know you you get the time or, or I should say the money to go and buy a, a, a new one um, so like I said this, the throttle uh, quadrant is from SciTech same as the yoke also from SciTech and the pedals that you can see there at the bottom um, all the LEDs in the uh, all the LEDs in the MIP are functional perhaps I should go a little bit further at the back if I hit the light tests as you can see everything goes on and light test out everything goes back to normal here is the apparatus working I'm probably going to crash my plane but just for you to see it so those are my monitors the 12 inch monitor will basically uh, go go here on the new on the new bay uh, this is going to go now if you look sideways as you can see has a bit of thickness in it but that's absolutely no problem because it's just gonna go inside you, you're only gonna see the borders um, and that's uh, yeah that's it for the moment so a lot of work to do not a lot of time to do it but slowly slowly since I as I said this is just a hobby uh, I'm sure we'll get there so guys stay tuned for the next update hopefully will come out a little bit sooner than this one um, and hopefully I have a lot more to to show you so stay tuned and please like the video if you find this interesting thanks guys till next time bye bye